Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for 1,250 subscribers. I can't quite believe it once again. Um, we're growing at crazy amounts um, and uh, one of the things that I said I would do in the last video, which I have done, is I've uploaded a Google Docs where you guys can put your questions and things that you'd like to see me cover. It will be really, really helpful if you guys can give me questions because it saves me from having to sift through question banks and just sit there um, to be able to find um, specific questions, if that makes sense. So I would really, really appreciate it if, you know, um, you can put down topics as well as relevant questions for those topics because it really makes it easier for me so then I can just kind of get to explaining it um, but once again the link to that will be in the um, in the description below okay great hope that makes sense so this is a continuation of some of the speed distance time if some people wanted some harder more challenging questions um, so I just basically just came up with a few um, this one starts off not too bad so what is the distance as the crow flies from Grantham to Lincoln so you can see this is just a bit of Pythagoras so all you have to do here is 70 squared plus 83 squared square root. Okay, so 70 squared plus 83 squared square root, which is 108.6 kilometers. Okay, so the important point here is making sure that you've got the right units. I know I haven't really got any answer options here, but making sure that if you do have to convert around one of the answers, maybe 180. 108.6 miles, but that would be wrong. Um, making sure that you convert appropriately into miles by dividing by 1.6, so that's 69.7 miles. Okay, cool, perfect. Okay, so on to the second question, which is a little bit meaner. So if you guys would like to pause this video, see if you can have a go at it, and then we will go through it. Okay, awesome. So if car A travels from Lincoln to Skegness at 40 meters per second and car B travels from Grantham to Skegness at 20 meters per second, which car arrives at Skegness first and how far away is the other car? Proper mean question. So as soon as I read it, I know what, what I'm going to have to do with this question. Okay, I know exactly how to do it. But remember what I said, on that first run through, um, it's really, really important to be able to only do questions that you're really happy with. And if you guys haven't, um, if you're new to the channel and this is your first video, please do go and check out my other videos, um, especially my QR walkthroughs. Um, I've dropped quite a few of them now. And you can see on every single one of the walkthroughs, what I'm doing is doing the easy ones first. So even if I know how to do this question, I'll just come to, back to it later because there may be an odd chance that I mess up one step and that's just going to lead to like um, this like spiral of disaster, basically. Okay, I would rather bag all the easy marks and come back to a question like this. So, first of all, the important thing is it's a meter per second and we've got kilometers, okay? Remember, okay, remember it's important. In the last, so this is the second um, kind of set of speed distance type question. In the first video, I talk about the importance of learning some of the conversions, such as kilometers per hour to meters per second was times five over 18, okay? So this, therefore, is going to be the opposite. So you're going to times by 18 over 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert each of these into kilometers per hour. So 14 times 8, 14 times 18 divided by 5 is going to be 50.4 kilometers per hour. And then this one, 20 meters per second, once again, all I'm doing is timesing by 18 over 5. So 20 times 18 divided by 5 is 72 kilometers per hour. Okay, let me just check my maths. Yeah. Perfect. Now all you have to do is work out the relevant details. So this is this first bit is from Lincoln to Skegness, so that's 70 kilometers. So remember, speed is distance over time. To work out time, you just have to rearrange distance over speed. So that's just going to be 70 divided by 50.4. So 70 divided by 50.4 gives me 1.388 recurring hours. But to get into minutes, I'm going to times it by 60, which gives me... 83.3 minutes, okay, so then well, let's go to the other one, so then the other distance is 83, so once again speed is distance over time, so it's going to be 83 kilometers divided by 72 kilometers per hour, and so 83 divided by 72 is going to be 1.15 hours, dot, 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 once again times it by 60, and so therefore it takes this car 69.17 minutes. I know I've rounded that, it should be 69.17. No, 69.16 reoccurring. So, we know therefore, the second journey, the, that car arrives at Skegness faster. So it's going to be car B that arrives at Skegness faster. But, this is the tricky bit, how far away is the other car? Well, the point is, how far away is the other car? It's meant to be, I guess, how far is the other way, uh, is the other car at the point of arrival? So when the car arrives. So, you can see here, so car A takes 83.3 minutes, car um, B only takes 69.17. So what we basically have to do is we have to take this speed, the 50.4 kilometers per hour, and we basically have to multiply it by um, this time. 
to the 1.15 to see how far it's traveled. So 50.4 times 1.15 dot, 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 dot. If you want to be really accurate, you can multiply by this number exactly here. So that's what I'm going to do times 83 over 72. That gives me 58.1 kilometers. That's how far it's traveled. So remember, this is car A from Lincoln to Skegness. Remember, the answer isn't just 58.1. It's how far away is it? So it's traveled 58.1. So the distance that's left is going to be 70 minus 58.1, which is going to be 11.9 kilometers. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, so next question. So once again, if I'd advise you guys to take a pause, see if you can do this question, um, and then we will talk through the answers afterwards, if that's okay. Okay, so let's have a look at this. A car traveling at a steady speed of 36 miles per hour travels from Grimsby to Boston. Okay, um, the time for the first part of the journey from Grimsby to Lincoln takes three times as long as the second part of the journey from Lincoln to Boston. How long is the entire trip in miles? So there's actually two ways to do this question. Okay, so I will get on to explaining both ways, don't worry. But let's have a look at it first of all. So the key idea here is, you can see I've given in miles per hour, so we have to convert that into kilometers per hour. So simply multiply by 1.6. So 36 times 1.6 is 57.6 um, kilometers per hour. Okay. So, um, yeah, and so it's 1.6 because there's 1.6 miles per kilometer. Okay. Sorry, there's 1.6 kilometers in a mile. Okay. So the time for the first part is three times as long. So the time for the first part is 72 kilometers divided by 57.6 kilometers per hour. Right. So 72 divided by 57.6 which is 1.25 hours, okay? And it says this time, the time for this is three times as long. So this is five quarter hours. It says the time for this is three times as long as the second part of the journey. So the time for the second part of the journey is just going to be times this by a third, which is five twelfth hours. So the length of the entire trip in miles, well, we can work out the length of the entire trip overall, just by adding these up, and you get five, three, five thirds hours. And remember, we're traveling at 36 miles per hour. So all we have to do is do 5 thirds times 36, which gives us uh, 60 miles in total. Okay, so many of you guys may have realized a shortcut to doing this, and it relies on this idea about steady speed of 36 miles per hour. So the point here is, if we're going at steady speed, and it tells you the time for the first part of the journey is three times as long as the second part, that must be because the second part is three times as short. Does that make sense? It must be because the first part is three times as long in terms of distance as well. Because if we go to the equation, so I'm just going to clear all my working, speed is distance over time, right? So we're told that speed remains the same, okay? And we're told that the time taken is one third, the time is one third, okay? So if speed remains the same, the distance must also be a third in order for, for us to end up with the same speed. So, therefore, it means that if the first part of the journey is three times as long, that means the second part of the journey is simply only 24 kilometers. So, the fast way to do this is just slap these two together. That becomes 96 kilometers. And then, divide by 1.6, 96 divided by 1.6, and you get 60 miles per hour. Answer is going to be, sorry, six, not 60 miles per hour, just 60 miles. Um, and the answer is just going to be 60. So, fast way to do it, slow way to do it. So I, ho I hope that made sense. Um, just just a little follow up on some um, some people who wanted some more speed distance time questions. Just another way of thinking about it. Like I said, this is kind of a question I kind of semi made up, um, but you can see the important ideas here. Okay, hope that makes sense. Perfect. Okay. So as always, you know, leave your comments behind, and like I said, please do fill in that document in the comments, uh, in the description, just so I know exactly which questions you want me to do. And it just allows me to produce more questions and more videos, a uh, higher output. Um, and um, yeah, really, no, thank you so much to each and every single one of you. And I'm glad it's helping. And the other thing that I do want, want to hear back from you guys is, you know, how your tests have gone. So even if you don't feel comfortable saying it necessarily in the comments, um, that's absolutely fine. I totally understand that. You know, email me. I'm obviously not going to tell anyone about it. Um, but I would really love to hear back. Okay, perfect. And please don't hesitate to get in touch if you do need any extra help. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys